the park or something else. Is there a cougar up there and waiting? Now, where's the mountain? In northeastern Oregon today. They're doing a little cow elk hunting. That's right. Uh, I do not have a tag. I do have my shotgun, though. Uh, for, well, not only protection from uh, predators like cougars and bears uh, and wolves for that matter. Not that this shotgun would do a lot of damage, but it's a little bit of safety for us. Yeah, yeah, it's all those good things. And Tucker here's got his BB gun. He's ready in case a vicious crow flies by. Anyways, we do not have an elk tag. Grandma has an elk tag and we're doing a little push for her right now. So you guys stay tuned. Hopefully we'll get some good footage for you. All right, let's do this. You know how to keep your nose warm? Put your thumb up there. How's your hands? Good. All right, where's your hotties? Oh, are they inside there? All right, just got up to the top of this ridge here and uh, no sign yet. I saw some old sign, old, old elk sign, but that's about it. We took a little break here, a little pit stop, having ourselves a little snack, morning snack. Uh, we ate breakfast already, and uh, now we're having another snack. Gotta stay fed, gotta stay uh, energetic, and to do that, you gotta bring food, lots of it. My pack is absolutely full of food. We've got Lara bars, cup of noodles, oatmeal, I think, I'm not positive, uh, coffee, Hot chocolate with marshmallows. You name it, we got it. Although I didn't bring the cups. I do have one cup, but that's my cup. So the hot chocolate kids are out of luck. Coming up on Grandma. We found her. She's out here hunting. There she is. Where'd you see the fresh sign at? Over here, there, you know, down by the bridge. Is that where you went? Yeah, I came, I came through there, but I didn't see the sign. Like fresh ones? Pretty fresh. Not frozen? All right, we're uh, coming up on a spot right now that uh, we um, laid my dad's ashes up here a couple years ago. So this little area up here means a lot to us. Looks like a little cross we put up got knocked down again, probably by deep snow. But I see it up here. Do a, do a, do a flex your muscle. So yeah, we came up here two years ago and brought uh, dad's ashes up here and put them right here at this tree. And this was a spot that he really liked to come, this, this meadow in general. He's, he's killed a lot of elk and deer. And this ridge up here used to be a clear cut. It was a big area that was wide open. And we killed a couple up up there over the years. A lot of stories I'd love to share with you guys in future episodes, for sure. All right, we're just uh, trying to get a lay of the land, make a plan. I think we're gonna maybe head over the ridge, maybe, and we're head down the ravine. Got the nose print here. That is an elk print. And this is two. Uh, cousin Trask and Uncle Travis out of the woods. They were doing a push for us. Right there. Oh, and Uncle Andy. Uncle Andy's there too. Still pretty frozen though, maybe from 
couple days ago. That's so creepy. Yeah, it's a cow school. They're all over the place out here. See the teeth on there? Uh, this area right in here where Tucker and I just walked through. Looks like a whole herd of elk came through here. There's elk poop and prints all over the place. It's like a high traffic area for elk. And we know that. We, we know this area pretty well. So, But it's a good sign to see some somewhat fresh sign in here. And this little ridge behind me up that way. A lot of a lot of elk up there, a lot of elk sign. Travis and Andy came, and Trask came walking down from there, trying to push some elk into us. And uh, they didn't see anything, but uh, a lot of elk sign, a lot of poop, a lot of tracks. Pretty fresh stuff in the last day or two, maybe. So it's Ooh, good news. Uh, what did you just find, Tucker? Wolf poop. Wolf poop? Where's it at? Right there. Right there? Yeah, Tucker found some either coyote or wolf poop. There's definitely wolves in the area, so we keep a lookout for those. We got protection, but uh, for the most part, any predators, cougars, wolves, I mean, as unpredictable scary. as animals can be, for the most part, they're going to go the other direction or uh, be scared away of humans anyways. They're after deer and mice and rabbits, but you always got to be safe, be prepared, we have a shotgun. Uh, Tucker has a BB gun, which isn't gonna do anything, but uh, I feel good with my shotgun, even though I've only got three bullets. It's enough to uh, do some damage. Well, what if there's three cougars? Yeah, well, there's probably not gonna be three cougars, but there could be a pack of wolves. But we have knives and saws. We can <laughs> poke them with a knife. High noon update. We've uh, split off from Grandma, who has the elk tag. She wanted to go off on her own, and uh, just hiking around uh, in this, these conditions, dry, crunchy, frozen. Um, it's loud sometimes, so she wanted to go off on her own. So she's not too far from us over that ridge over there, right there. Probably. She's up there. Uh, probably three quarters of a mile, maybe half a mile. Tucker's doing a great job keeping up. Alright, there you have it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, take it. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, interesting. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Good morning from the beautiful mountains of northeastern Oregon. This is Top with Taz Outdoors, and today we're going to be getting, this is day two of the elk push. Tucker and I, and uh, Uncle Travis and Trask, oh. were pushing elk to Grandma, trying to get her on the elk. Oh. Uh, there's Tuck. We saw some elk this morning, but way down in town, crossing the road. Got a little video for you guys, we'll show you later. It's pretty cool. A couple bulls in there, little guys, nothing really big, a couple spikes, but very exciting. Anyways, stay tuned. Today is the day for your grandma on the elk. Last time I came up here, it's a huge herd. Tucker's uh, eating some roasted chomp beef sticks here. Oh, come on, fire! I really wish I had a stick.
Alright you guys, this uh, spot is not produced so far, we haven't seen any elk, no animals, no signs of any activity. What's going on here? Not even need a deer. But uh, this was our fire. Mm, the, remnants, the remnants of our fire, we're letting that burn out and then we're going to take off. Uh, we had lots of good stuff. Fill our bellies up. Marshmallows, cup of noodles, beef sticks, lara bars, coffee. And uh, now we're going to pack up and head out in a little bit, so stay tuned. Keep staying tuned. Got to find those elk. Alright, this here is an old road that uh, used to be 30 years ago when I used to come here. A bunch of little Christmas trees. Now it's overgrown thicket where the elk like to hang out. This is an old road from like the 50s and 60s. There's Dad's tree. Might be back later tomorrow, I'm not sure yet, so I'm just saying. So long pops. See you again soon. Day three now on our elk hunt, grandma's elk hunt. Reminder, we're the pushers, we're not the hunters. We do have a shotgun for protection and grouse. So, I need to get myself a pistol. Unsuccessful yesterday, unfortunately. But uh, today, hopefully, well, it's the last day, so Ow. hopefully we get on them. Stay tuned. Go underneath, go underneath. Tucker's third day in the woods. We've been pushing him hard, hiking, but he knows there's always something waiting at the end. And that's a snack. <laughs> Trying to get Tuck's attention is a challenge sometimes, especially when he finds ice to uh, skate on and try to break with rocks. Set up a trail cam last night. Tucker's gonna grab that right now. Good job. No activity last night on the camera. Except that's how cold it is. Mm -hmm. Little up poop right there. Let's see if it's not. Nope. Hard as a rock. To mark this on my GPS, put for future hunts to uh, put a game cam facing this direction because it's a little game trail right here coming out of the ridge. Oh yeah, look at that. See that game trail? Yeah. Very, very gamey. Very gamey. Ah, look at that game. They come up under yep. it on their sides there and then turn so I can see. There he is. He's four point. Yeah, yeah he's got a there. Um, oh, there he is back there, still hanging out, watching. He's like keeping a look over the herd. That's a big boy. <sighs> Too bad it's not deer season. Hey, next year. This fire's going pretty good. Way better than the one we had yesterday. I think we started with a lot of little twigs today to get it going and then gradually start putting larger stuff on it. 12 o'clock update. I uh, failed for the first time in a long time to sustain a fire. Cold, wet, fresh wood around here. That's about it. And uh, that's my excuse anyway. Live and learn. Next time I come in here, I will be prepared. Anyways, we brought hot dogs and all kinds of stuff to roast in the fire. Note to self. Be prepared with your fire starters, lighters, torch. Because there's plenty of wood around here, but, oh, there's some good wood. Oh, no elk, we have no elk yet. All right, folks, just a little update. Uh, our hunting season is winding down. We are 
exploring some new areas in the truck. If we find a good area that uh, we find has some good potential, we'll get out and walk in a little bit. But uh, right now, we're uh, at a loss of where the elk are. Because we haven't seen a lot of sign of elk in our area. So we came over to a new area that we can hunt. Um, nothing yet, but uh, we'll bring you back if we do see an elk or if we have an update. So stay tuned. It had to have been. Something. All right, something jumped across the road here. We got crows, we got magpies. Mom saw what she thought was a white tail down here jumping, but I mean, I think it may be a predator. There's something down. What are oh, we yeah, doing something on? dead here. Look at that. Somebody killed an elk right there. It's recent? Yeah. Look at that, you guys. Dang. Why weren't we here? Well, something was chewing on that, Mom. Take a look at it. Like it might have been a wolf or something. Yeah, something was gnawing on it right here. And I don't know if they boned it out or this is an elk pepper. This is a carcass of an elk. Whatever mom probably... saw was chewing right on that. Yeah, they're just chewing the leftovers. Yeah. Is it a cougar? Was it a cougar? Is there a cougar up there and waiting? Is this a cougar kill? It definitely looks skinned. You know, like somebody skinned it. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you be the judge. You uh, guys that bone out your 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 uh, big game. Is that is that a boned out somebody, somebody game? You guys let me know in the comments, okay? It's very somebody interesting. Somebody shot it, and and just like we do, we gutted it out yeah. and left the, and left the rest. Came out here over to the east side of the unit that we're hunting and pretty cool area. I've been over here years and years ago, but uh, I don't remember these meadows. Huge, huge, huge. Look at that. See the eagle caps off in the distance? Way out there. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. 